Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to test differential relays in RTMS software. Now let's get started. Now we will continue with relay setting entries. The import settings feature is still under development and cannot be shown. The setting library. If your relay model is shown on this list, you should select it here to see the exact nomenclature as your relay setting uses. Pickup is the minimum pickup threshold for your differential function and is expressed in per unit. Current tolerance is the allowable error for pickup. Trip time is, is the expected trip delay for the relay to close its contacts. Keep in mind that no relay is instantaneous there's always a propagation time for the relay to close its output contacts. Trip time tolerance is the allowable error for the trip time. Prefault level determines the amount of load current to be applied to the relay prior to simulating a fault. Prefault time determines how long the prefault will be applied before executing the test. Simulate breaker tells the test plan to leave the current on after the trip is received long enough to simulate the opening time of a breaker. Off delay defines the amount of time applied for simulate breaker. Use reference voltage. If your relay requires voltage to enable any differential function, select yes. Enter the line to line voltage for your relay. Through fault current. This defines the amount of current applied to the relay during the stabilization test. Harmonic tolerance. This is the allowable error factor when performing harmonic restraint or harmonic blocking tests. Second harmonic content. Enter the setting for your relay for second harmonic restraint or blocking. Harmonic ramp mode. This allows you to choose to ramp from an operate to a no operate condition or from a no operate to an operate condition. Fault duration. During the test, short fault pulses will be applied to the relay. This determines how long the fault pulse is. Nth harmonic content. Most modern relays allow for multiple orders of harmonic content for restraint and blocking. Enter the order harmonic your relay requires and the related setting. ICT correction. This is only used for RARO dual biased transformer protection relays. There is no other reason to choose this setting. Nominal current. Nominal current can either be calculated by the information of the transformer itself or by the current transformers. Protected object is preferred. Slope characteristic definition. This allows you to select how your relay represents the slope characteristic. Depending on the selection, additional fields may be exposed to complete the slope definition. For example, line segments can be made up of four different segments. Restraint equation. This allows you to select the slope calculation method for your relay. Number 10 in the quick reference guide includes a short list of the most common relay models. Now enter your unrestrained pickup setting and your slope setting. Add setting to report. This allows you to include all of these settings in your final test report. This concludes part two of how to test differential relays in RTMS software. Visit the MEGA YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.